I just happened to show up at the right time. There's nothing I could do. And I wish I could have done something. Betty, what's happening, Betty? What are you doing? Betty, did you know he chew the most popular chicken at the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch? You're the friendliest, too. Don't want your hand. Oh, Brooks' chickens everywhere. Oh, they're snacking on a watermelon. Well, I pulled back up to the uh, barn and, um, I tried to go down there and get an up closer look to it to see if, you know, it was struggling. I was able to help it. And guys raising these bison, you're not able to do that. It, you know, people ask me, do you ever have to pull calves and stuff like that? Do they ever need help? 99% of the time, they never have to have any help. And we just had a situation today and I think this was a stillborn. Uh, honestly, is what I think happened. Unfortunately, things happen like this, and um, don't know why, but uh, I want you guys to understand something. If I could have saved that calf, I would have. And uh, doing what I did was even a stretch as it is. Most people that raise bison um, probably wouldn't even pull out in the pasture to even get close to their animals. You guys know if you've been following us for a long time, and if you don't, that's okay. But uh, we spend a lot of time with our bison on daily herd checks and and stuff like that and they're used to us you know i'm able to pull up to one of those cows that i trust um and the only because i trust them is because i've been with them for so long I, i've raised them since they were yearlings and that was in 2018 you know bell star and peaches eleanor um i'm not going to do that to dunbar obviously um the cows are just as dangerous but um especially when they have calves it is dangerous but um I knew that if I could get her blocked somehow with my door, and I'm all by myself, it's hard to do everything when you're by yourself, especially attempt to try to see what's wrong with a calf that's put, you know, that's dead or dying. Or <laughs> When you're dealing with bison, it's dangerous. And obviously a lot of this work that we do is dangerous and we have to uh, pay attention. And uh, what I did was, was pushing it a little bit. Yeah, I just saw uh, a calf that was struggling and that was dead in this case. And you know, your first instinct as an animal lover is go take care of it. Go make it happen. Fix it. Save its life. And, you know, with bison, it's a different story. But in this case, the, the calf was already dead. So that happens in cattle. It's, it happens in all types of livestock where it doesn't matter. There's nothing I could do. And I wish I could have done something. But she must have struggled having uh, the calf at birth. But seeing in those fluids for as long as it was for the hour of time that we were here, we saw her initially, went and checked the Dunbar herd. We came back and she still had um, that placenta membrane out. Uh, just like Doc said, she should have had it within 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'm sitting here filming and Peach just starts going to the labor. Luckily, and I'm very happy to be able to catch that. You know, I've always wanted to. Then she goes in labor and I watch her have two feet um, protruded out of her and I can see the nozzle I can see the nose of that calf coming a couple of times and she was pushing and she had that calf for 15 20 minutes plus struggling and I'm thinking okay here we go and it's the same thing we're going to run into another uh, calving issue and um, something happens I mean we've got friends that uh, have some bison down on the Red River here in Oklahoma and they've had some issues with from their mamas ingesting a toxic weed um and it has causes deformities and they've been dealing with that and have lost two calves and um i can't imagine what they're going through and what they've been through and so uh seeing calves born with some deformities from uh, just a toxic plant i mean this is part of ranching and uh, it's been it's been like this for hundreds of years now we just have to keep uh we have to keep a close eye out for for issues like that and I just happened to show up at the right time. You know, Brooks went down to take a nap and Marissa, Marissa stayed home with her and I just happened to show up at the right time. 
you know, if I'd have shown up the next morning and the calf would have been dead, um, again, I wouldn't have known what had happened. But the fact that I responded within an hour and a half, we saw her, and then she hadn't had the calf in like an hour, and then about another hour, I came back, the calf was born and was already dead. Sorry to bring you uh, the bad and the ugly. It is part of it. And uh, if you raised animals, you know that. And uh, I hate to show that, but uh, that's what we try to do is, uh, you know, we try to promote this animal. It's an amazing animal. The world needs to know more about the American bison. That's why we do this. And uh, we love being able to raise these animals. And we're lucky to be able to raise an animal that survived the last ice age. And then these animals have also gone through, you know, almost completely wiping their entire population away and going away from us in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And we get to raise them. They're right out here in our pastures. Very lucky and fortunate to do that. And um, a part of that is what we face today, went through today. Celebrating the life of a new one. Charlie's taking out with me here. Charlie, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And, um, you know, you know, meanwhile, I've got a mama cow out there mourning the loss of a calf. So, <sighs> Hello, Charlie. we're going to let him be. We'll come check on tomorrow. We still got lots of mamas, um, that are due to have calves. So. Sorry, Mama. Sorry, Bill.
that uh, sure isn't my favorite thing to do, obviously, but um, felt like it was necessary and I needed to do it, especially our, it's our first red dog that we've ever lost. But, um, you know, it's like bearing your first dog, you know, that uh, passed away. It's kind of a feeling, um, even though we didn't know this animal very long and it was uh, just had some birthing issues and, and didn't make it. But, um, you know, it'll always be here under the pecan trees here. You know, some of you probably said, Dusty, why didn't you use your tractor or skid steer to do this? Well, my skid steer is at the cabins and uh, we don't have a tractor. And uh, two, I was just like, well, we'll dig with a shovel and I'll do it myself. Mama suffered still mourning and uh the baby suffered at some point obviously so there's nothing wrong with me suffering a little bit getting a little workout in um not the workout i want to be doing but you know so anyways part of it um unfortunately so ranching right